Bonsoir en South Africa tonight and welcome back to ENCA. Voici le rapport de sport aujourd'hui. Netball star Bongi Msomi is poised for a memorable year. She said to captain uh, the Spa Proteas in the Netball World Cup Midia, which South Africa will host in Cape Town. The upcoming quad series will form part of the build-up to the tournament. Bongi joins me via Zoom to talk about the current state of play in the Netball Proteas setup. Good evening, Bongi. Always lovely to talk to you and thank you for your time. You've had a training camp in Eastern Cape, a bigger part in Cape Town as a team. Um, how has that been going? Uh, good evening, everyone, and obviously thanks for having me. Uh, we came back together awkwardly so straight after the, um, I guess, the festive season, and uh, camp has been going really well. We had, obviously, a mandate that we were going to go to festive season and really just uh, focus on our trainings and what we needed to do. Uh, when we got back here, surprisingly so, we had our fitness testing done, which was really pleasing to see that everyone actually had done their job in terms of keeping themselves fit and ready, you know, to go on court. So from there, I guess we just gained the confidence in knowing that we can trust each other, I guess, as, as players, but also just to now focus on what the coaches can give us and we're taking it on. So it's it's been really great. It's tough. Uh, because obviously preparations of such a tournament going into a quad series in a World Cup, yeah, it cannot be easy. But yeah, well, it's literally everyone putting in the hard work and it's been really fantastic. We're still as excited, pumped as a group to see what this year has to us. Oh. Oh, Bongi, I can definitely hear your excitement and it's been all over, um, you know, building up to the quad series. It features the cream of netball's crop in terms of the Australasian powers and England. How daunting does it feel to go into these kind of tournaments, especially because you've got the top three, top four ranked nations in netball? Uh, to be honest, I really feel like, and this is what, how everyone feels here, that we're in such a great position. We rank fifth in the world, and there's no better competition than a quad series where we have to play first, second, and third in the world. And, uh, you know, to start a year like that for us is really just fantastic. Um, we, we speak about, you know, hosting a World Cup, and every, obviously that has expectations as well from our side, but you cannot start a year in trying to, you know, prepare for such a big event without being able to see the process and see how far you are in what you've been able to put out in terms of trainings and all that and we're really really just uh, happy to have you know Australia New Zealand and England here with us um, already they've arrived and it actually feels real that we're going to play them over the weekend and how how exciting how exciting should we be because you cannot really just want to um, be able to crack in the top four at World Cup if you cannot test yourself um, I guess just before all of that happened. So we're quite pleased. Um, it's been hard work putting, putting out uh, behind the scenes. And now all we need to do is to get out over the weekend and see how, where it puts us and actually, you know, just enjoy the process. All right, Bongi, since inception in 2016, South Africa have only won twice. So what does this team hope to achieve in this edition of the tournament? Um, uh, firstly, I guess it's to we, we had a dip in terms of performances and actually everyone saw that at Commonwealth Games, which uh, is something that we as players first are not proud of. And because of this, you know, the idea that what was there last year is not guaranteed to repeat itself. So we're really just pumped by, you know, another chance. This year we have really a good chance of just creating a whole new vibe and a whole new legacy for the Spa Pro Tiers, but also for Netball South Africa and Africa when we host the World Cup. So we quite understand, you know, where we sit as a group. And actually, firstly, it's performances and consistent performances, great performances against the top countries, but also then obviously to see a way we can grab some win against them, because when you do that, then you put yourself into a position where you can stand to medal at World Cup. So it, this is really not just us going in to just compete. We actually want to see where, what is us actually this year, even before we get to July, where things are going to have to happen. Ah, oh, Captain Bongi, love the confidence. In closing, your team has been building up to the World Cup for a while now. How excited is everyone ahead of the event? And do you believe that your current group have what it takes to win first ever on the African continent, the Netball World Cup under the flag of South Africa? Oh, starting with the belief, I've 
believe that ever since I've stepped onto, you know, uh, this side and like the grit, I like how the girls who actually just take anything on with actually the oomph of representing the country with courage. And I know that that goes with the processes in place. And I really think at this point, you're quite lucky that we seem to got together. There's so much positive things to take on and uh, one cannot go wrong with actually seeing all these positives coming in together over the, from over the weekend and then the World Cup. Really confident in what we're putting out and it, it actually uh, gives me such uh, confidence to know that even after the quad series, we still have a couple of months to still putting in such hard work. You can never go wrong with that. So it'll be really great to see what we're putting out, putting out now and then we can start talking World Cup because one is to focus on one thing at a time to be able to put out some performances. Fantastic. Bongim Somi, Spa Proteus captain, thank you very much for your time. Uh, that's, of course, uh, the netball women's captain ahead of the quad series, which starts on Saturday. Uh, South Africa up against New Zealand, the defending champions of the Netball World Cup. It is also a Netball World Cup here in 2023.